Hey everyone, Tryhard Casual here today with another episode of Quick Konar Slayer, the video series where I very quickly go over any random Konar task that I might get. So basically I'll be going over gear, inventory, location, pretty much anything you're gonna need to know to do this task for yourself. On today's Slayer menu, we have Avanzies in the God Wars dungeon, so let's just hop into the gear and see what we're gonna need to bring on this one. Okay, so our gear and inventory is going to be a little bit complicated just because there's a lot going on with the God Wars dungeons and having to kill Avanzies specifically. Avanzies are only able to be attacked by range, so we're going to bring a blowpipe on this one. And for our ammo, we're just going to use some admin darts. Of course your profit's going to be better if you choose to bring a crossbow over a blowpipe, but I just don't think it's worth it based on how long it takes to kill when you're using a crossbow. So I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here, so we're going to back it up and just talk about the God Wars dungeon in general. So basically, while you're in the God Wars dungeon, there are four different religions that all the minions into will be a part of. There's Bandos, Ceredomen, Zamorak, and Armadil. So normally what you have to do is wear one piece of armor for each religion that's down there so the minions are not aggressive towards you. All you're going to need to worry about on this specific task is to wear one piece of armadillo gear and one piece of Zamorak gear. I'll get into that in just a little bit, but let's just work our way top down here and talk about all the pieces we're bringing. An imbued Slayer Helm is really the best in slot for the headpiece here, you won't want to bring anything else. You want to bring the best backpack that you have, you want to bring a, a necklace, either an Anguish, a Fury, or a Glory, in that order. In my blessing slot, I'm going to bring an honorable blessing, and this will count as our armadillo item, so none of the armadillo minions will attack us unless we attack them first. I will say it's better to wear an armadillo chest piece or chain skirt as your armadillo item, but I just don't have them because I'm a broke bitch. So instead, we're going to be bringing some blessed dehyde for our chest, legs, and boots. So basically, any one of these three blessed dragon hide pieces can be your Zamorak item. The chest piece I'm wearing happens to be Ceredomen, but it's really not necessary, like I said. You just really need that Armadillo piece, and you need the Zamorak piece. Other than that, we have our Barrow's Gloves, you know, Combat Bracelet to substitute for that, and an Archer's Ring is really the best for the ring slot. So that basically takes care of the gear. I will leave a link down below for which pieces specifically count for which god. So with our gear out of the way, we can move right along to inventory. And once again, there's going to be a lot to talk about here. So we're going to start off with ranging mixes instead of ranging potions. I'm opting to not camp prayer on this, so I need every little bit of healing I can get, and these mixes are going to help out instead of just, you know, boosting my stats with a regular ranging potion. I'm also going to bring four sharks just for, you know, emergency situations or if my health drops a little bit too low for my liking. While we're down in the God Wars dungeon, to get to the spot with the most advances, we're going to bring a crossbow and a grapple hook to help us get there. I believe you need 70 range to use the grapple down there. I'm not positive though, I'll, I'll double check that and write in if it's, uh, if it's wrong. On top of that, we have our teleport there which is the Trollheim teleport. Now for some of the drops we have an herb sack, we have a gem bag, and we have uh, alchemical runes in the rune pouch along with water runes and earth runes to cast bones to peaches. I personally just unlocked bone to peaches not that long ago and I really haven't had a chance to use it yet so I just want to see if I can get through with healing with bones to peaches rather than you know camping prayer and stuff like that. If you want to try it out you can always buy bones to peaches tabs instead of actually using the spell so you can do the same thing I'm doing even if you don't have the spell unlocked. And other than that we have our teleport out. Now if this is your first time in the God Wars dungeon there's a few more items you're going to want to bring. The first item is simply a rope. If you've never been down into the dungeon you'll need a rope to reach the bottom. And secondly right before you enter the dungeon there's going to be a little area full of snow that's going to drain your stats. You'll want to bring a super restore potion to boost your stats back up after you enter the dungeon. If you've completed the quest Making Friends With My Arm, you can actually construct a fire outside the God Wars dungeon that stops the snow effect and it won't drain your stats. Also if it's your first time there, you'll need to talk to the Dying Knight outside the entrance to the God Wars dungeon because he won't let you in unless you talk to him at least. Also very quickly I forgot that if you have a Soul Bearer, that's a nice item to bring here for all the ensouled heads. So I believe that's all of the inventory we need on this one, so I'll show you how to actually get there. Really the best way, like I said, is the Trollheim teleport, which will take you right to the summit of the mountain here. If you don't have that, you're gonna have to make a far run from Birthorp if you use like a Games Necklace teleport, so you really want to have 61 magic and, you know, the Trollheim teleport unlocked. You know, from there you'll want to take two of these agility shortcuts down. You'll need to pray ranged over here because some trolls will throw rocks at you. And once you get right through this little crevice, there's going to be a rock or an agility shortcut that you'll have to go through to get into the snowy area. So once you make your way into the snowy area, that's when your stats are going to drain, your stamina is going to drain, and there's going to be some wolves there that are going to attack you as well. So you'll want to take the rope that you have and take it down to the dungeon, you know, as soon as possible to get out of there. All of the minions are going to be attacking each other, basically anywhere around the circle room. 
Since we're only bringing protection from Zamorak and Armadil, you're going to want to run immediately south and use your grapple on the agility shortcut here to get your way into the Armadil section. This is basically where the vast majority of Avanzis are going to be. After we make it past that grapple point, nothing's going to be aggressive towards you unless you attack it first. Okay, so we're down inside the God Wars dungeon by all the Avanzis. I would recommend just not going for the spiritual ones at all, just get the regular ones flying around. I think the lowest level is 73 or something like that, so I usually just go for the lowest level ones. So yeah, let's just hop on in this and get this done, so I will get back to you after I kill 100, or no, 200 more of these bad boys. And with a very cool 54 minutes, we are done with that task. So we can see if we made any profit with all that time we spent. You know, 560k. It's all right, it's decent. I would say definitely if you don't have the Fremen Card Dyers completed, do not do this task because none of your adamant bars will be noted. So that just will wreak havoc on all of your um, your inventory slots. Although we did get a hard clue scroll and we have one key, so maybe that can help us make up for some of the time. Another 200k. And just like that, it's nice. <laughs> it's a nice profit. I will say if you're pretty confident in doing some God Wars dungeon bosses, then you should definitely do the Armadillo boss whenever you're on an Advances task, just because you make a lot more profit, and the extra damage boost versus the boss is super nice with the Slayer helmet. So that about wraps things up. If you guys have any questions about Slayer, or RuneScape in general, feel free to ask me. My channel is forever in baby mode, so it's very easy to answer any questions you guys might send my way. But I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I will see you in the next one.